In today's video, we are going to talk about sitemap and how you can make your own sitemap for your website as well. Sitemaps are usually really a confusing part of you know SEO thing as well. Whether you make a basic CSR or client side rendering or whether you make it as a server side rendering, whether you make SPS like Vue, Angular, React, everything that a sitemap is pretty much basically required everywhere for SEO purpose as well. So what we are going to do is we are going to dive deep down into the multiple ways that you can make your sitemap and this video is going to be really fun and challenging as well. So let's get started. So what is sitemap? So well apart from this bookish definition which I have taken from Google, sitemap is basically essentially a fanny magnet for the Google crawler as well. It essentially just like how we take a Google Maps to take direction for going to the restaurants and various places. The sitemap essentially serves the same purpose for the Google crawler or any other search engine crawler as well. It precisely just tells the, Google, the crawler as well where our pages are located as well. Do you need to do that? It depends, but it certainly helps for the search engine to index your website onto the search engine as well. Well, how to make one? There are two ways, the easy and the hard way. The easy we are going to talk about later and the first one we are going to talk about the hard way. I mean not too hard, it's a bit, a bit easier I would say. The first one method which I am really going to take is the referring from documentation called sitemap.org slash protocol.html. Bit ugly but don't worry I'll mention the link in the description so you can check that out. And one thing that I would really say that please, please read that documentation because uh, though, though this video will really cover 90-90% of all the audience that are watching up right here. But if you have some of your custom requirements like making sitemap inside a sitemap and doing a bunch of crazy stuff, then go read the documentation first and that would really help you first. So what do we need first? The first you will need to code along a VS code itself. Well. Even other code editor works fine, but if you don't have any preference, I would say VS Code is the best and industry standard as well. So to going further as well, first we are going to discuss about what are the criteria to make the sitemap as well. So according to that documentation which I have found on sitemap.org, the sitemap must have a URL set tag and the closing of URL set tag as well. just like how we start with html and end with html tag as well so first we need to set up the url set tag at a starting and ending and then in that we need to specify the namespace now the namespace is actually a protocol which tells the crawler that hey we are making this sitemap as per this protocol as well uh, we are going to take that example later words so and then in between that url set tag it's like we also really need that URL tag to denote where our location is and we also need a URL set tag for uh, denoting a page or a destination and then location and then URL parameter itself. So if you go up right here this is the basic schema that we really define up right here. So as you can see it looks a bit more like HTML itself where you just start with HTML and close with just a, a forward slash itself and then so as I've basically told you that the underline uh, XML NS that is namespace. This is a protocol standard that you need to mention and specify this. Otherwise, it may or may not work. You need to mention the URL between that. And again, in that URL, this is the basic standard up right here. So as you can see, the URL serves as a container of all the URL that you mentioned up right here. And then it's the location that is called the URL destination. And again, then what you need to define it as the last mod serves as the date which the page was last modified as well. And this is optional to do. Uh, it's pretty much up to you whether you do whether you want to do it or not. But I would say it's handy to do it as well and, and it gives the search engine much more clarity whether how frequently are you updating or not. And let's talk about the second parameter called the change frick or it, all, it denotes the frequency in change of the content of the page itself. Again, it's pretty optional, but I would say do it. It's much more better words. Uh, and the, the options are you can really type out between these like always, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or you can specify as never. 
that means you are not changing it anywhere so and next type out in the last one is of priority the priority essentially denotes that how important is that page for crawler to parse first even if you don't define any priority as well, the crawler assumes priority of every page as 0.5, which is default. And then you can really just type out, uh, if you want to type out manually, you can type out as from 0.0, .0 to 1 as well. So to really just in inculcate about what we have talked about, we will take one example. So take this example of collegefacemask.com, which is, it is a social site that I'm really working on. So it has currently it has a basic home page, it has about page, it has a login and a sign up page as well. So if you really want to go up right there, just take a look into the computer screen as well. So what we'll do is right now we'll name this uh, make a folder called sitemap and we'll open that in the VS code as well. So by opening it right there, we will make a file called sitemap.xml. We'll go up right there. And coming back to the point, the docs as well, we'll just copy this and we'll rename it as the college face mash as it's a home landing page. And then we will change this as today's current date. And then do we need to update it? I think no. So we'll just keep it as monthly basis uh, in case we need to some design changes. I think oops, the format was wrong in my opinion. So I'll copy this all, paste it right there and we'll just name it as about and then we'll just change the priority a little bit and then login yeah and then i think in my opinion sign up it definitely deserves much more i think 8 or 0.8 or 9 so this was the way that we just made a sitemap for our college face mash in a much more harder way now let's talk about the simple way the simple way is nothing but to use a sitemap generator like this one as well now if you are using a react page your single page application may not be passed by this static generator as well so what you need to do you need to kind of embed the react helmet and the react snap into your react project as well for view and for angular as well it might be really specific to their own because i'm not a view or angular developer i don't know about it and so by using by using this tool library which also i have my own video check up that i button above right here and what you can do is just using that two library can solve up to 80 to 90 percent of your seo problem itself and when i really tried to do it on my own and just type out my url link in that website and just check the result it really works pretty flawlessly as well so this was what i wanted to share my experience about making a sitemap i hope that this video has added any value to your workflow consider subscribing to this channel for such more awesome web dev content as well Leave a like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.